Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the third episode of Mobonomics 101, where we educate you in the world of mobile games. Just like last time, we are joined by Blake Seymour, Vice President of Dalhousie Esports Society, who will, without a doubt, share his mobile knowledge with us. Back in the day before playing a game, you would take out the manual from the box and read about the controls, gameplay tips, and any other information the developers provided you with. With MOBA games, in addition to simply playing the game and learning it that way, I would highly recommend doing some research online, similar to reading the manual, simply due to how hard the game is to master and how overwhelming it can be to a starting player. In this episode, me and Blake will go over some of the online resources which we think are absolutely great for a starting MOBA player. Even if you consider yourself an experienced MOBA player, you can always learn something new and gain that extra edge over your opponent. So let's dig in, starting with the League of Legends. Locking.com is a site that will allow you to track your personal progress. While this exists to a certain degree within the League of Legends client, it doesn't have the same depth of information that Locking provides. Info on your hidden elo, win percentages, and ranked queue progress are all displayed on this website. If you want specific info on how well you are doing, as well as where to improve, Locking is a great resource. There are other sites that will provide you with info to read up on before you get in-game as well. There are many websites that are based on providing players with guides to specific champions as well as broader lane concepts. Solomid.net and LawPro.com are two of the most popular of these kinds of sites, with regular contribution to both by professional level players. For a more mathematical and in-depth level of analysis, ReignOfGaming.net provides great content to summoners, insight into item efficiency, community created tier lists for heroes, as well as data mining of content being tested for the game can all be found on this website. As for Dota 2, there are plenty of great resources. DotaBuff.com provides a thorough presentation of a given player's statistics, with extensive coverage that dwarfs the details provided by the Dota 2 client. In order to give Dota Buff access to your statistics, you must first allow the website to take your information from the Dota client. If you do not wish to make your stats public, you may leave it turned off. If you do want to analyze your stats with the website, enable the Share Match History option under the Games option menu. Doing this will give you access to a huge variety of statistics, including win rate when playing with other players on your friends list, most commonly bought items on heroes you play, as well as trends that span the entire Dota community. Dota 2 community icon Purge's bluntly named article, Welcome to Dota, You Suck, is routinely referred to as the ultimate article for new players coming into Dota for the first time. An extensive coverage of terms, heroes to start it with, and all the basics of the game, Purge's Guide stands out as one of the best resources in Dota for new players. If you're taking the plunge into this complex MOBA, this is a great place to start. Dota 2 Alt-Tab is a great resource for a quick and easy access to guides and strategy behind every hero. The site has an awesome search function allowing you to quickly find the hero you're playing, get the list of the standard items, as well as a few short but important tips that will put you in the right mindset. As for Heroes on New Earth, the developer of the game provides a great foundation to build on and a community-voted selection of guides right on their official website. The information is usually extremely up-to-date since the top-voted guides are well taken care of by their authors. If something is still not clear to you, you can always go to the community forums right on the same website and ask any question you want and someone will definitely help you. Hopefully the information in this episode will help you in getting the guidance you need so you can become the ultimate mobile player. Stay tuned for the next episode, where we'll tell you how to make your mobile game experience more efficient and effective. Also, keep an eye on the Game Code's Facebook page this week. You will get to decide which mobile game Stephanie will have to play, so don't miss it. Until next time, class dismissed. And that'll do it for us today. Special thanks to High Tide Throwdown organizers Ralston Arcade, Adam Morehouse, and as always, Adam Perry for letting us hang out at the last game store. I'm Stephanie Pelly. We'll see you next time. I was also not there! I can't wait for the new Call of Doggy duty. <laughs> Do you even lift? Because Xbox lifts so many games! I'm so happy that Kinect can detect me now. <laughs> <laughs>